Every year, 8 million tons of flowers are dumped in rivers, causing depletion of oxygen level, hence becoming a threat to aquatic life. Since temple offerings are considered sacred, it is discouraged to dump them in landfills. Half a million people visit temples every day to offer flowers, but no one thinks about what happens next. Upon apprehending the never-ending challenge of improper disposal of floral waste, we felt obligated to intervene and design a relevant plan of action, which led us to the idea of Project Fulwari. Fulwari stands for a garden of glass, and our project is based on the sole purpose of constructing a sustainable future by eliminating floral waste. Our project has a two-fold agenda, that is, primarily to ensure complete and proper disposal of waste flowers and to support our target community with stable and adequate income. In the project, floral waste along with sustainable additives is repurposed around three parallels. Not only at places of worship, but incense sticks are an indispensable part of our daily lives. However, exposure to particulate matter present in incense smoke has been linked to asthma, lung inflammation and even cancer. We differentiate our product from existing market alternatives by being charcoal free and eliminating the health risks associated with burning incense in indoor environments with the help of using dried up flowers. With each of our sticks having a burning time of more than 2 hours. Potpourri Air fresheners contain harsh chemicals and other dubious components which when inhaled over a continuous period of time lead to multiple respiratory and neurological diseases. Unlike toxic air fresheners, our potpourri is a safe alternative. A unique element of our product is camphor, which not only spreads fragrance but also purifies the room. A single packet of our dried up flower potpourri generally lasts more than a month. So, since most of the soaps available in the market are made out of chemicals which are sometimes harmful for the skin and lead to itching and dryness, our soaps will be made from organic ingredients, that is dried up flowers. They will be available in different shapes and sizes and will also cater to people of different skin types. In the initial stages of the project, we aim to collaborate with the slum dwellers of Pahar Ganj area in central Delhi, who will be our flower cyclers. In the later stages, we plan to explore different marginalized segments of the society, such as acid attack survivors, physically challenged people and other economically deprived communities in Delhi. To kickstart with our project, temples, weddings, Floral markets and ornamental parks would be our major sources of procurement of flower debris, our primary raw material. After fortifying the dwellers of Pahargan slums with techniques to process our products, we aim to establish a proper warehousing facility to ensure inventory management and timely delivery of the products. The key focus of our sales strategy will be to collaborate with hotels and department stores via the B2B model which would account for about 75% of the total revenue. In addition to this, a B2C approach will be adopted by means of social media, organizing stalls and personal selling. Our venture seeks to generate over 1.5 lakh rupees per month with the aim to achieve an employment rate of more than 25-30% to 30 every year. The project aims to target 5 UN Sustainable Development Goals. Our primary SDG would be SDG 12. Responsible Consumption and Production The project's major raw material will be flower debris, which will eliminate a heavy load of waste generated daily from religious ceremonies. The secondary SDGs targeted under our project are Project Fulwari aims to provide threefold impact under the three Ps. Our short-term goal will be to manage four tons of floral waste in the upcoming year and gradually increase our utilization to 45 to 50 tons in the span of five years. Through our B2B and B2C models of dealing, we aim to generate annual revenue of around Rs 18 lakh with a gradual increase of 20 to 25 percent every year. Thus, we will be able to increase the monthly family income of our flower cyclers by Rs 5000 and our aim is to surge their earnings by Rs 15,000 per month before the end of 2027, penetrating an increment of 200 percent. In the first year of commencement, we aim to provide employment to more than 35 people and empower more than 120 individuals through vocational training and education. At Inactive Keshu Mahavidyalaya, through strenuous efforts, we aim to fulfill the mission of empowering the lives of economically weaker sections of our society while tackling the problem of floral waste mismanagement, hence creating an impact in multiple spheres and instilling hope in people's hearts.